Today in Washington, the House is expected to vote on creating commission to look into the insurrection at the Capitol. Democrats are pushing forward with the plan, but it doesn't have widespread Republican support. Skyler Henry is in Washington with reaction from lawmakers. The House is planning a vote today to create a 9-11 style commission to investigate the January 6th assault on the U.S. Capitol. It seems reasonable that America should have a bipartisan commission to ascertain the truth and present it uh, to the American people. The top Democrat and Republican on the House Homeland Security Commission negotiated the details of the 10 member commission with Democrats agreeing to Republican demands for an even split between Democrat and Republican appointees as well as both sides having subpoena power. But Republican leaders are urging their members to oppose the plan. There are a lot of other things that should be on the table that our members have discussed uh, and even that uh, that Representative Katko himself uh, pushed to get in these negotiations. Some Republicans want to expand the commission to look at other political violence and demonstrations including last summer's racial justice protests. The eventual creation of the January 6th commission remains in doubt with Republicans in the Senate signaling they are opposed to the plan. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell told reporters Tuesday he's pushing the pause button on the legislation. I'm not saying that we have decided this should not go forward. But if it's going to go forward, it needs to be clearly balanced and not tilted one way or the other so we have an objective evaluation. But Majority Leader Chuck Schumer Hello, says everybody. he will bring the bill up for a vote on the Senate floor. Republicans can let their constituents know. Are they on the side of truth? Or do they want to cover up for the insurrectionists and for Donald Trump? Former President Trump urged Republicans to oppose the commission, calling it a Democratic trap. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, Democrats would need 10 Republicans to join them in supporting the commission to overcome procedural filibusters and allow a final vote.